You all right? Keep texting Sonny, but he's not replying. So are you and him uh, uh, you're an item now? Possibly. Why don't you say anything? It's just awkward situation, isn't it? How's he doing? He's down about Rishi. He was in a right state yesterday. Oh, yeah, is that Matthew Light? Yeah, I, I um, had a voice... Oh. 300 quid? You're a businessman, you can afford it. I'll be donating and all. I'm confused. This new bus stop, I thought it was already paid for. From the emergency fund. So why are you expecting me to put my hand in my pocket? For drinks and nibbles at the grand opening. Grand opening? It's a bus stop. It hardly screams big community event. Well, look at it as recompense for what you and that feckless son of yours did to our Gabby. I don't owe you anything. Oh, fine. Throw the olive branch back in my face. But remember, I'm your counsellor. Let's just hope you never need a favour. Being threatened by a tea lady. That's a first. And good news. Sonny's asked me to go for a drink. There you go. And fretting over nothing. Oh, I don't know. Do you think I'm being reckless? Well, I've always had a healthy respect for recklessness. Hmm. I really like him. I reckon he likes me too. So what's your problem? Well, he's Jay's cousin. And Jay's married to Gabby's stepmom. Do you think she'll think I'm rubbing <sighs> it in her face? She's going to think that whoever you go out with. You can't spend the rest of your life feeling guilty about what happened. So forget about what everyone else thinks. You do what feels right for you. Hey. No, I'm sorry. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah. Bye. Hopefully they're going to release Dad's body in the next few days. So we should be able to fly him out to India next week. Good. Priya says she's going to come. Wasn't they kill? It's gonna be weird though. Family reunion without the head of the family. Yeah, well, you're the new head, aren't you? Being the big brother. Half brother, as it turns out. Are you gonna tell him? Do you think I should? Do you want to? I don't know. Um... I feel like I ought to tell them, but. Well, if they know the truth, then Sonny's bound to find out sooner or later, isn't he? So, oh, I don't know. Maybe some things are best just left unsaid. Get the devil. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, OK. We're, you know, bearing up. Um, so, weird thing. Dad phoned me. He never does that. What did he want? Nothing. Just a chat. You sound really cut up about Uncle Rish. Not like him. Dad doesn't really do emotion. Well, you know, it's all in shock, really, aren't we? He says he's been trying to text you, but hasn't heard anything back. I've been busy. Yeah, he just wants to know what funeral arrangements to make at his uh, end. You know, I'll call him when I can, OK? Stop hassling me. <laughs> Last time. Jay's been under a lot of pressure. Yeah, and Dad's not exactly the easiest person to deal with. You OK? Yeah. I... Sorry for stopping earlier. My head's all over the place at the moment. I'm going to call your dad now. Bring him up to speed. Well, I'll leave you to it then. Yeah, all right. See you soon, love. You OK? Look, it's not easy keeping secrets. But it's the right thing to do. Did you manage to talk to your dad? Hey, I've got you one. Cheers. How are you doing? Yeah, getting by. Spoke to my dad earlier. And how is he? Not begging on about business for once. He was almost human. Of course, if you knew I was on a hot date, then... <laughs> this isn't an actual date. Ah, is it not? That's a shame. So, will you be coming along on Thursday? I'll probably be needed here. It'll only take ten minutes. Oh, I can sell a lot of ale in ten minutes, Nicola. Well, I hope you, Jay and Laurel, will be showing your faces. 
For what? Oh, she's unveiling the new bus stop. Riveting. How can I say no? Great. No, I think he's taking the mickey. What is wrong with you people? This is important. I'm sorry. How is a bus stop important? 